Imagine you go to bed hoping to get a restful sleep, but instead you wake up in the middle of the night, unable to move, with a shadowy figure closing in on you. You try to scream, but no sound comes out, you try to move, but your body is paralyzed. The creature draws near, you feel the icy claws around your neck choking you. Just to wake up to find that nothing was real, no, it's not a nightmare, your eyes were wide open, it was a vivid hallucination. No one knows why these hallucinations happen, but one thing is clear, they're sure to send a chill down your spine. Here are 7 real sleep paralysis stories. I've never had any visual encounters, but when it happened the first time, I was laying on my left side and started to feel that pressure on my chest. When I realized I was paralyzed, I started panicking. Something whispered in my ear, just coming in to say goodnight. That's when I felt like something was pushing me towards the edge of my bed. Terrifying. I get this on a regular basis, but mostly when I nap, not when I go to sleep for the night. I have never experienced the demon, but the experience is terrifying. I can see everything, or at least it seems like I can. But I am unable to move. It feels like if I don't make every effort to move, I will be stuck like that forever. I usually have to start by wiggling a toe, or a finger, and then keep that momentum going until I fully wake. It takes an extreme amount of effort, and if I don't keep the effort constant, I have to start all over again. I have a few different sleep paralysis demons. They are the usual shadowy figure standing over me or by my bedroom door. The worst one was while I was lying on my side with my back to the door, and it felt like someone got into bed behind me under the covers and put their arm round my waist. Then it felt like they were cuddling into me, and I could feel breathing on my neck. It felt like they cuddled me for about half an hour. All this time I'm trying not to show that I'm panicking, because it feels like I'm getting cuddled by a skeleton with claws. It was only about the second, maybe third time I'd had sleep paralysis. I nearly had a heart attack when this thing feels like it's moving in closer to kiss me behind the ear. Worst of all, it whispered, not yet. You're not ready yet. I'll come back when you are. To me it sounded disappointed and excited. It felt like it was silently telling me, it meant that it was coming back when I was about to die. Before I learned to cope with it, I've seen quite a few awful things. Horror films don't really do anything for me anymore, because I've already seen the most terrifying things I ever could. Here's a few things I remember off the top of my head. A little girl in the corner of my room staring at me. Then, without notice, she shrieks and runs up and starts choking me. A large dark figure, kind of a human silhouette, emerging from the foot of my bed and staring down at me. Something banging and scraping on my bedroom door. I keep it locked at night because I have had ones where it opens by itself. No, the door isn't open when I wake up. It only opens in the dream. My bedroom door opening by itself followed by dark figures coming into my room. The earliest one I can remember is with my mother in the room and she's sitting on my bed, her face morphs into a demon-like thing. The worst thing is when you try to fight or call for help. Your voice doesn't work and your body will not respond. You just feel helpless. I need to stop trying to remember these things. I'm getting chills. I have experienced sleep paralysis literally hundreds of times. To me, it's usually a slick, black alien type creature about 4 feet tall. Although I have seen a Grim Reaper type figure as well. I don't tend to get auditory hallucinations, so keeping my eyes closed pretty well negates the entire experience, except for the actual feeling of paralysis. I've gotten mine so frequently that I don't even freak out about it anymore. It's still scary, but not nearly as much as it used to be. The first few hallucinations were awful. A little creature eating something on my floor. I blink. Now he's right next to my face chewing on something and whispers remember me? An old lady standing over my head and whispers darling. I told my mom about that one, and she asked if I thought it was my late grandma? No. It was evil. The hallucinations are always evil. Even if I can't see anything, there is an overwhelming presence in the room and it is always evil. I can't move. I'm stuck. The evil is pulling on me deeper and deeper. I can't cry for help. I can only breathe heavily as fast as I can. Hoping someone will hear me breathing so loud and will come shake me out of it. I try and move a finger. Come on finger. Why won't you just move? It's going to get me. 
My first and only time I saw someone transform was from dream to reality. I was dreaming, it was this pleasant dream of a person you like very much, a crush. Then I realized I was dreaming, so it turned into a lucid dream. And all of a sudden I opened my eyes, and the face aged like an Indiana Jones movie, when he drinks from the wrong grail, it also turned dark, and from lush, vivid environment around her, it turned black, dark it was my room in darkness. Above me, this aged old face of a woman. I felt pressure on my chest, and it was aging before me. If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, that will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.